I remember I, I got into a debate with uh, Mark Lamont Hill and uh, it was about the death penalty where he basically said that there should be no death penalty. The government should not be able to put anyone to death. Yeah, that's and true. I, I don't think the state has the moral authority to kill its citizens. No nation that has executed this many Native Americans, that has allowed the Tuskegee experiment to happen, that has enslaved its, its own, that has built on the exploitation and enslavement of its own people, has the moral authority to decide who gets to live and who gets to die. And I, I disagreed. Why? Wow. Uh, because I believe in an eye for an eye. Mm -hmm. And, and he brought up some good points. He, he, had, he had done this before, so I was at a disadvantage. Uh, but, you know, he started bringing up, you know, because I brought up Dylan Roof, and I said, oh, and he's like, yeah, but, you know, but what if one innocent person dies, you know, gets killed, you know, through the death penalty? Is that justified? And I said, no. And I said, okay, who's an innocent it. person, though? Uh, who's an innocent person? Someone who gets convicted of a crime who didn't do the crime. No, you said, what if one innocent person That's what he does? Said. All right. That's what he said. He said, if one innocent person gets put to death, then the whole system is broken. Yeah, that's true. That's what he's saying. And it was a good point. But sometimes there is no margin of error <laughs> for certain people. Like, for example, Dylan Roof, right? <clears throat> Dylan Roof admitted he did it. <laughs> There's witnesses that say he did it. They found the murder weapon. He walked into a church, killed a bunch of people, said he doesn't regret it. You know, uh, did it in the name of white power and so forth like that. He feels that that person should not be put to death. Do you feel that Dylan Roof should be put to death? No. You don't? No. Why? I think Dylan Roof should live. I think Dylan Roof should live. I think they should put him in a cell, put BET in his cell, let him follow me on Twitter and let this nigga see us thrive, you know what I mean? I think it'll kill him more to be a live witness in this, knowing that the people he killed meant nothing to us, not meaning it didn't mean anything to us, but meaning that you can't stop what's going on. That's why I, I commend all my niggas in, in, in rural areas in the United States having sex with poor white women and they selling them pills and crack, pollute their communities with dick, yeah. Fuck all their kids, you know what I mean? Create an understanding, cause see, what's gonna happen is that a lot of these old, these old racists are gonna die out. And then guess what's gonna happen? Your kid is gonna be the head of the family now. A mixed black kid from Tennessee and Brooklyn. <laughs> well, I read an article about what Americans will look like 50 years in the future and they look like mixed kids. Yeah. Because that's what it's going to be. Because black niggas out here thumping, dropping dick off in communities like they should be. Make sure you drop that dick off in all these rural communities with the meth heads, with the coke. Because these are the niggas that voted for Trump. They yeah. just ain't get enough dick. But, you know, I mean, you would think that racism is dying out. Black dick is going to save America. Black dick is going to save America. That's a fact. It's a fact. The fuck you think these NBA niggas doing? Niggas fucking the Kardashians, all these other rich white chicks. We polluting the community, man. We, pollute, we polluting the, the United States of America. We gonna change the color of what America looks like. In fact, I think Courtney is the only Kardashian that actually fucks with only white dudes. Nah, that's what it looked like she fuck with. Oh, you think on the low? That's what she, she showed she, on she, camera. She, she of course black, she do. Black dudes on the side. How you ain't gonna? How you ain't gonna fuck no black niggas? Hell, we got the biggest dicks. We the coolest. Y'all niggas not cool, Vlad. We pretty cool. Yeah, I ain't cool. Some of us are cool. I'm pretty cool, man. You swear you a cool Russian <laughs> from, from fucking Benson Hurst. <laughs> hey, man. Yo, we're Russians, no Vlad from Brighton Beach. <laughs> from Brighton Beach? <laughs> Women love me, though, man. I can't help it. Women love me. It is Vlad. what it is. Yo, how many Chanel bags Vlad bought y'all bitches? <laughs> Keep it real. Keep it real? <laughs> I mean, I, I bought a few Chanel bags for the main, the main chick. A few you know what I'm saying? But not, not no side chicks. You know what I'm saying? Cookies and some apple juice. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know, cause, cause well, on the flip side, the white dudes is fucking the black women too. No, 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 that's true. So we 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 polluting y'all as well. That's true. Shout out to we Joe. Creating Joe these Joe light, we creating these light skin chicks. babies out there. You know what I'm saying? Them light skin mixed kids. Mm. Some of them coming out, you know, looking white too. That's why we be hitting niggas in the bike lane. What? 
We got to do something to give back to the community. Y'all won't be out here fucking on women. We going to smack a couple dudes out the bike lane. Oh, really? Just open the door as, as you drive by? <laughs> <laughs> and just drive off real quick. Yeah. Hey, man, I think I think mixing is good, man. I, I, I think all this, uh, all this pure blood bullshit, you know? And on top of that, like creating mixed kids actually creates healthier human beings. No, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because once, you know, when you, when you fucking with people that are genetically similar to you, you're essentially quasi inbreeding. You know what I'm saying? That the whole purpose, the reason why you're not supposed to fuck your sister is that you're going to create retarded kids. You know what I'm saying? And when you start mixing different races from different, with different genetic codes, you're creating healthier healthier offspring. Just like how mutts, you know, we talk about dogs, mutts are always healthier than purebreds. Purebreds die early. Mutts live forever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's like, and you know, when you have mixed kids, if you're still racist and you got mixed kids, like something's seriously wrong with you. They just racist. <laughs> you can do. You can't take racism out of everybody. The the best way to to to, to you know to combat racism is to make people interact with each other. I think when people interact with each other, they some of the ideologies that was taught to them about the other group change. Yes. Yeah. That that's what always surprised me. You know, when I think of slavery times and. Yeah, you could you could be told that blacks are inferior and they're not as smart and they can't read and you know you they they're not human or whatever else. And I can understand growing up and being told that. You know, and you believe it cuz you believe what everything your parents tell you, right? But once you start interacting with these people, you very quickly learn that all that is wrong. Mm -hmm. you, you learn that this is a person just like you. They're just as smart as you, maybe even smarter. Mm -hmm. They do all the same shit as you. So how do you keep that, that fuck shit going for generation after generation? It all happened. Money? You can't unlearn certain shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can. You can unlearn anything. No, you can't. There's, you some, niggas, there's some niggas out there who think their mother's food is good. Huh? Meaning what? Some niggas out there that think their mother's food is good, and it's not. Okay. <laughs> they can't they, unlearn that. Yeah, but what, they've been eating it for so many years right. that they think it's the correct way to make mac and cheese, or they feel like this is the correct way to make pasta. Right. They don't like undercooked the noodles. They only like overcooked the noodles. They don't like al dente noodles. You understand what I'm saying? They don't like certain shit because they feel like that's the correct way. That's how they was taught. Yeah, but then they go to Amy Roots and they, they taste some better food and they say, oh, okay, maybe, maybe <laughs> I was Roots wrong. Amy Roots used to be good. Amy Roots still good. I still fuck with Amy Roots. You white, though. So. I'm not. Amy, Amy Roots, <laughs> Amy Roots is not, is not filled with all white people. Trust me. I have never been an Amy Roots. But it be black people that don't eat good food. Amy Roots is not what it was. Really? Love what was Amy Roots, Sylvia's ain't what it was. I, I don't fuck with Sylvia's. Amy, 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 Amy Roots is the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, at least for me it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, what, what, what soul food restaurant in New York is better than Amy Roots? Melba's. Melba's? Melba's. I, I, I haven't been there in a while. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, Melba's is good. Melba's is decent. I heard of some, I forgot the other name. Somebody else told me some other soul food restaurant recently. I got to find out which one it was. Amy Roots, man. Try, when was the last time you've been to Amy Roots? Um, like two years. Yeah. It's pretty much been the same for two years. If you didn't like it two years ago. You probably wouldn't like it now. It's pretty much the same shit. All right, man. Tax Stone, always a pleasure. Thank you for coming through. Salutations. Till next time, congrats on everything. Peace Safe killing them out there. You know, Why me, not? you, and Charlemagne are, are, are killing the game still. Murder for excellence. We, 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 we killed them in 2016. We're going to kill them again in 2017, man. Be safe, though. Everyone else could... Uh, you can try to keep up. I wish y'all do, man. Y'all, y'all inspire us to work harder. Be safe, dog. Peace.